Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to make a custom FPV camera mount. I will be using uh, Black Sugar, which I got on Amazon for $10 for a 3-pack. And the camera I'm using is the Fat Shark Pilot HD, which I got with my uh, Fat Shark Teleporter V3 kit. Uh, the kit in total was about $230, bucks, and the camera by itself I believe is around $60 on eBay. First thing you want to do is kind of ball up the sugar in your fingers, kind of warm it up a little bit, and then uh, throw it on the frame and just kind of start molding it and just, you know, make sure to wrap your camera in some saran wrap just so that the sugar doesn't stick to it. And, uh, I've, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot, of, a lot of videos and a lot of stuff online on the angle of the FPV camera, and so I decided to go with like a 10 degree angle um, so that, when, you know, when you're accelerating forward, your camera's not looking at the ground. So, uh, you know, I just use a little, little screwdriver head to kind of shape the, the, the mount and make sure it wasn't touching any of the, the framing bolts. After you get your, your layout kind of set up, uh, the next step would be to create a little little bit of a barrier behind the camera uh, by pinching some of the shoe groove to you know kind of cradle cradle the camera so uh, it sits in there nice and snug. So you know, just kind of work the shoe groove with the camera in there, take it out, kind of mold it up a little bit. You know, put the put the camera mount into the into the frame, make sure it fits. You know as you're going through this build. And just kind of pinch it, pull it, pinch it, pull it. Kind of get that nice little little lip formed. And as you're doing this, you know, just make sure to put the camera in every once in a while to make sure it still fits. What you want to do and what you find you can. Here's a little tip for you guys, uh, to try not to make the same mistake I did, I would recommend taking the bottom frame off, uh, just leaving the middle frame, it's just to make sure that none of the shoe groove pushes through into the bottom part of the frame, because um, you know it'll happen when the strides, it'll, it'll lock the two frames together. So I ended up having to actually take my arms off, take the frame apart, kind of lift it up, make sure that none of the shoe groove was uh, squeezing through the bottom of that hole. Um, yeah, so I recommend just, you know, do this from the beginning so you don't have to worry about your frames sticking together. So we have a few options for uh, dampening vibration with your FPV cam. I decided to use Moon Gel, which I got off Amazon for like 10 bucks. It gives you like six little pads like uh, you can see in the video. And just make sure when you're fitting this, this mount that you have enough clearance with the top part of the frame. Uh, including the moon gel. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to double check while you're doing the, the shoe groove. So once it dries, you're out of luck. So that's it guys. This was a uh, probably, I'd say, $10 mount including the shoe groove and the moon gel. And uh, I'll probably post a video coming up in the next week or so with the, uh, the full mount and the camera strapped down. So uh, thanks for watching and hope this helped you guys out. Safe flying.